Hey you guys, I am back with another message from the Lord. It's late right now. It's like 12, 27 um, at night. Um, but God been working with me, um, giving me downloads about a specific message that he gave me since last week. But he is just really down um, loading messages into me. And then when I got home um, today, God... Um, reminded me of the numbers that he showed me today and nudged my spirit to go look the numbers up um because i looked up one number while i was out and then i forgot to look up the other number so um which is um what i'm here to do to go ahead and be obedient um because today earlier today i was out um which is kind of strange because i really don't like being out in like right rainy weather but guys i would god just had me driving and i went and just drove and got me something to eat today and i the first number i saw was number 484 and that means in the strong concordance a laying hold of apprehension perception objection um of a disputant um to aid or help okay and this scripture reference that relates to this particular number comes from um, 1 Corinthians 12 and 28, basically talking about the different spiritual gifts. And it talks about um, how all of us are a part of one body and how all of our spiritual gifts um, works together for the body and um is a very imperative for us to be operating in our gifts the right way um and it just goes on and talk about pretty much when one part of the body suffer we all suffer um and that's in again first corinthians 12 and 28 the second number that god sh took me to or that i've seen um was one 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 and i saw it twice at the same time and it made me chuckle because that's how it's been happening lately and that means contrary to law and justice prohibited by law criminal unlawful thing um and so um god took me to another scripture with this one but what God is saying in this hours, and this is for the leaders. Um, and I have spoke about this before, about work your assignment um, and all that good stuff. But God is not playing in this hour. Judgment is here. Um, whether we believe it or not, judgment is here. And it's going to happen in the church first. It's going to happen with leaders first. So this is a warning for the leaders. Do what you are supposed to be doing. God had actually even took me to research the different about like apostles and prophets and stuff in their gifts, but mainly apostles right now. Um, and he told me to research about apostleship, what their duties were and what it means. And the liberal meaning means to be sent with a message. Um, the description, the gift of apostleship is the divine enablement giving to a proven messengers sent from local churches to assist in new works or edification of existing churches 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 <clears throat> and then an apostle is an assembly um and an assembly might teach or prophesy or heal or lead or administrate um like i said in a previous message god has told me to release work your assignment God is saying again in this hour, we have too many churches and not enough people. And a lot of people, a lot of leaders, y'all are not working your assignment. God has called you to be out, not rooted inside of a church, not grounded inside of a church. Apostle Paul was out. Jesus was out. All the disciples, they were out ministering. When you have a certain gift, you have to work and operate in that gift. When you are failing to work and operate in that gift properly, you are going against God's biblical laws of what you're supposed to be doing. 
Okay. And that's why judgment is going to start in the house first. Because you're not living up to biblical laws and principles. Some of y'all are operating in your flesh. Really operating in your flesh and of lust. Because you want to have a church. And God has called you to go out. And you're wondering why you don't have peace. When you fully operate in your gifts like God has ordained you to. You will have peace. God gives gift without repentance and blessings without sorrow. But y'all are stressed out. Y'all are operating in the spirit of jealousy envy y'all are not walking in the spirit of humility at all y'all are gossiping y'all are clicks everything else instead of doing what god has told you to do within this hour and god is going to send judgment in this hour to you because you are being disobedient we have a rising of risings of a lot of false prophets during this time and god has told you to be a difference to go out and gather the sheep and bring them back to the house. Bring them back to Christ, the actual temple. But you won't do that because you want to have your own church. You don't want to do your assignment. And God is saying, it's time out for that in this hour. And you're going to have to deal with his judgment and his wrath for being disobedient in this hour. It is your duty as an apostle. If you carry an apostle the apostle anointing, it is your duty to assist in new works and edify of existing churches. So if God had assigned you to a leader to help build that ministry and that's what you did, that's what you were supposed to do. It wasn't for you to get envy. It wasn't for you to say, well, you know, I help these people build their church. I want to go get my own church now. No, that's not your duty. That's not your job. You're in your flesh. You're in your flesh. Then a lot of the leaders, y'all walking around with unforgiveness in your heart. How can you want God to forgive you, but you want forgive others? And people are watching you. You are the light. People are watching you. And that's why a lot of people are not coming to Christ like they should, because you are out of alignment. You are operating out of biblical principles. God had me to release the word this week. When you are operating outside of his will, you are open to the devil attacking you. And then you're wondering why you're dealing with different spiritual warfare, with different attacks, because you are out of alignment with God, because you're not operating and working your gifts like he told you to. God said it is time out for that in this season. You must get it together in this season or you will be exposed or you will be going through a time of judgment. Because that's not what God has called you to do. Again, when you operate in your gifts and you do the work of the father, what he has assigned to you to do, you will have so much peace. But now there's no peace. You always in drama. You always you Y'all got clicks. Jesus was the greatest of them all. And he had, and Jesus didn't even take, he had 12 disciples and everywhere he went, he didn't take all his 12 disciples with him. He only took two or three, a few of them. Because the other disciples had to go off and still deliver the, the good news, to preach the good news. So why would you want to sit up here and have all these, being all these cliques, being all this drama? Real apostles real prophets we are introverts god set us to aside and apart for a reason because he know and we understand and we know everybody cannot be attached to us everybody is not going to understand us we understand when we are around certain people we are spiritually attacked because of our anointing and that's why a lot of you guys are operating out of disobedience because y'all haven't even gotten to the place where God can just deal with you by yourself because you want to do all these other things instead of doing what he tells you to do. But we are in the hour of judgment. God had told me to release a word in March about how he was going to start dealing with some of these pastors because they were doing illegal stuff. They turned his house to prayer into a den of thieves, money laundering, fraud. And it's starting to happen. Judgment is here. I released the word one month. It happened the next month. And I didn't even know about it until a sister in Christ told, released it and said it happened. And then when I was doing the research, it popped up. 
y'all have to get it together in this hour the scripture that god took me to was first peter chapter four and i'm gonna start at verse 17 for the time has come for judgment and it must begin with god's household and if judgment begins with us what terrible fate await those who never obeys god's good news and also if the righteousness are barely saved what would happen to the godless sinners So judgment is about to start in the house. It already start. It's already starting in the house. But God wants me to come and warn leaders to get it together, to operate correctly in your gifts. I'm gonna share this quick quick story that I know personally. All right, that happened. Apostle. Okay, these apostles, they went out and they started the church. Which what was what were their assignment to do? Their assignments was to start the church, to build the help build the church, and then ordain a pastor, which they do have, and let the pastor run the church while they go out and travel and still preach and bring the people back to the church. That was their assignment. That's scripture. Okay. Did not do that. Got in their flesh got into the spirit of greed and lust and they're back and, and the tr and the church was growing they had members and everything now the church is back at rock bottom because they got in their flesh instead of doing what god has told them to do because they started operating in the spirit of greed instead of doing what god told them to do apostles prophets ministers evangelists they are out traveling preaching the gospel around the world god has called y'all to the nations why do y'all want to be confined to a church where god is calling you to the nations to actually travel and enjoy the world and see the world and actually preach the gospel to his people and live at peace but the main reason why y'all don't have peace is because y'all not doing what the father is telling y'all to do y'all not working y'all assignment y'all being disobedient god is saying in this hour to get it together because judgment is going to hit his house first. And like I told y'all early before this week, I want to be on the other side of grace. Because when this wrath come, God's going to cover his children. But the, other, the rest of the world is going to be in a period of suffering. Because he's tired. Enough is enough. Do your job. Do your assignment. Walk in the spirit of humility. Be humble about what you're doing. Check your heart posture. That's another thing, guys. Say, yeah, some of y'all have some jacked up heart postures. Check your heart posture. Make sure that's in the right place first. And then do what you're supposed to be doing, what God has called you to do in this hour. If y'all want a scripture reference again about how the different leaderships and how it's supposed to flow, 1 Corinthians 12 and 28, 2 Corinthians 8 and 23, Philippians 2 and 25, John 13 and 16. Know your position. Know what part of the body of Christ that you're supposed to be operating in. Okay? And do what God has told you to do in this hour. Because judgment is here. Alright you guys. I love you all. I'll probably be posting this in the morning. Because like I said it's late. But God but download all these messages into my spirit. And I just wanted to record tonight. Because when I go to sleep and wake up. I'm going to be asking God to confirm things again. And I don't want to be doing that. Because I have a lot. A busy day ahead of me tomorrow um but all right you guys i love you and i will chat with you all later